imagine a place so remote that it has barely been touched by humans. Such a place exists. It is the Ross Sea, a majestic domain in the vast expanse of the Southern Ocean, a great wilderness, are just four months left in which to first strengthen and then secure consensus support for the protection of these iconic areas. Decisions that would really make history by creating the largest marine parks in the world for some of the truly last wild places on Earth. 116 days to ensure the integrity of these systems and their future for all humankind. Now, a major agreement on ocean conservation today. Dozens of nations created the world's largest marine reserve at the bottom of the globe. William Brangham has the story. 24 countries in the European Union agreed today to set aside 600,000 square miles of ocean. The, the protection will take effect starting December 2017 and will continue for 35 years. Commercially, the species that is caught there is uh, called Antarctic toothfish. It's known in the United States as Chilean sea bass. So when we think of these preserves normally being done, we think of them being done by individual nations within their own ter territorial waters. But this one is quite different. It is. It's because the Antarctic um, and the Southern Ocean around it is governed collectively by a group of countries under the Antarctic Treaty System. And the system actually came into being at the height of the Cold War, where countries set aside their differences and agreed to govern the Antarctic as a place for peace and science. That governance is now extending into the ocean. Um, and uh, about five years ago, the countries agreed to begin to work together to establish marine reserves and protected areas. And the Ross Sea is the first big one that they've managed to agree to. Chilean sea bass and their, 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 their existence is more important in yours than the entire planet especially women and children in Ukraine or in Russia or in the U.S. They taste they're, good. They're willing to point missiles at each other wherever there's populated areas, but where there's no population, they can agree on sea bass. A 35-year ban over some fish. 35-year ban where you can't go in unless you have an exceptional uh, reason for research. Okay. Now we're still in the running because our expedition is exceptional research. Very exceptional research. And we might have a beer here, joke around here, me and Jake. We're trying to communicate this to the next generations. You know, certain generations are write offs, some that you might have seen in. The footage that he shot at that Halloween party. Millennials. Millennials. <laughs> fine. 15 and under, this is for you. And the people 30 and up, all the way to the greatest generation. You know, all the old guys and women that, that write me. Um, I'm serious. I get a lot. Me I get, too. I get a lot. It's <laughs> I'm fantastic. actually right there with it. You, you know what I mean? They love it. So, and, and, so, and we're going to pop the millennials like those two generations. 15 and under, and then 30 and up, we're just going to pop the millennials like a zip, like a political zip. It's just going to pop, and they're just going to succumb to the to their own fluids. And it was, it's here on the link. I can't remember it, so I'm going to post it after. There it is. That's the beauty of the internet. There's the link right here. Look at that. There's the link. Uh, <laughs> Green screen. So, um, unbelievable. So, so they, they rammed it through. They've been neg negotiating this for the last three years. But ever since Flat Earth started taking off, they've got to have a cover to have a bunch of Navy ships patrolling the Antarctic. And this is what they came up with? Chilean sea bass. This is Chilean sea bass? They're good tasting, and, I guess. And they got people so far to the green left with their globe. Okay, all defense, all globe defenses on on on, on alert. No, oh. and it's like, could you imagine sail, just, sailing your vessel into Antarctica and a battleship rolling up alongside of you and going, 
You are entering Chelan Sea Bass Waters. You need to exit Chelan Sea Bass Waters or we will sink your vessel. Fire. We will open fire. You are endangering the Chelan Sea, sea Bass. bass. <laughs> Please remove your vessel from these waters. We like, will open fire fuck, man. in five minutes. This is Chelan Sea Bass Sanctuary. They basically, yeah, that's what it is. It's a sanctuary. And that sanctuary happens to be my entry to measure it. So, this will be ridiculed as exceptional research, measuring Antarctica from six different entry points. Chilean sea bass. Really? But you're willing to um, exterminate the entire Ukrainian people with nuclear warheads. Catch them. They're in the middle of it. If missiles are leaving Poland and missiles are leaving uh, Moscow, well, guess who's in the middle of all that? Those poor Ukrainian women, children, and men, and boys. Bro we're on the brink of World War Three. On the fucking brink of World War Three. But you know what we can agree we need on? These fish. These you know what we can agree on? Chilean sea bass. You know. You know. You know. Like <laughs> this, we could lose, but this we can't lose. Hey, Russia, we might bomb you. Yeah, well, USA, we might bomb you. And China's like, yeah, well, we might bomb all y'all. And we're like, yeah, but you know what? Chilean sea bass. They let Putin and him are yelling at each other on the phone, going, "Why well, I can blow you up? I blow you up!" Like, and then one day it's just like, you know, Obama calls him and he's like, "Oh, what? We're losing these sea bass. <laughs> Chilean sea bass are disappearing right now. Forget Syria. For, forget Iran. Forget Iran. Forget China. <sighs> You're a fisherman. You care about fish. I saw you on the motorbike, going to a fishing trip." We're losing the flag. So let's sign this and we'll talk about Syria. Let's start with sea bass and then work to humans. <laughs> start with sea bass. We got ISS. We got space. We got Antarctica. Let's get sea bass. And you know what I mean? Sea bass is code. Sea bass is code. This is code named sea bass. This is Operation Sea Bass for Flat Earth, for the containment of Flat Earth. This is Operation Chilean Sea Bass. Operation, let's see who cares about fish more than people. OCSB. And uh, OCSB, that's the document. And, uh, and then they get to see how many of the globalist vegans that care about Mother Earth and the globe will, will override and make a disc, or, or keep a disconnect between human casualties and populated centers where these people are at each other's throat because these two countries can't agree on shit but they'll agree over here where nobody's living over fish and you think that that's like good f that makes sense that makes sense for you and you wouldn't see that as some sort of cover to have a bunch of you know um, navies scattered around in case a bunch of flat earthers want to gaslight the globalists and do a boat rush. Are they panicking that a boat rush would happen? World War III is also a great cover to scatter Navy ships. Ball all War three. Yeah, Ball War three is a great cover to scatter Navy ships all over the world's oceans, patrolling to see who's going through and passing through. And of course, the most popular route, you're gonna go Argentina, like to the tip, straight in. Well, what if if somebody decides to take a different route, like what's the most popular route, where are they patrolling, and uh, if somebody wanted to take a shot, oh, yeah, know, it's, it's, what it's, are the chances of, of running into a boat, and uh, if you could get that on film, my thing is, it's not about being turned around, being turned around is okay, can you get it on film, can you get it on film, like, turn your boat around or you will be capsized, like, I want to see a U.S. fighter boat pull up alongside the flat earther boat and say, "You need to stop now and turn around." Yeah, this is so if I don't sea make bastard. if I don't make it to Antarctica, I the next best thing is me getting turned around on tape. Yes. Like, okay, I have to go or I'm gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, the sea bass. Here. All right. I so could just the see next... them. I could just see them. These navy ships, and it's like there's like all sorts of war just scavenging all over Europe, people dying, and like, you know, families blowing up, 
you know, <laughs> grenades so blowing up. The again. next best footage from the w from getting to the ice wall would just be getting anywhere near and having someone stop you and turn you around. We get that on tape. I think that's gonna blow the whole thing open. So I think. But then they'll use the sea bass as the cover, and then you have the, the sea state. bass. You know, they'll say we only we only turned them around bass. because of the sea bass. Well, of course, there's a disengaged <laughs> species there. That's why they did it. <laughs> we only knows. We're trying we, to save these. We only turned them around well, because but, there's fish down there. <laughs> World War, Ball War Three, Ukraine, Russia. It's, yeah, yeah, but that's always been going on. At least they can decide on the sea bass. And then we defend it. And then, well, of course they told you to turn around. I could just see too, like a bunch of navies. So out we there. have to make it absolutely clear on tape. We just want to keep going. We're not fishing. You need to turn around. You're endangering the sea bass. We promise we're not fishing for sea. We're going to shoot your boat down. I could just see. We're going to capsize your vessel. And I it's like see. we're not fishing for fucking sea bass. Okay, I could see. <laughs> I could imagine you get down there and it's like it's a treasure trove sea bass. It's like, <laughs> it's actually just like Nate, little Coast Guard ships and it's just like, there's nothing going on here, move back. And it's just them like, just protecting it. It's just, the ocean is just teeming, just floating with <laughs> sea bass. It's just this huge deposit of fish. It's not even, it's like a swim, one of these swim farms or these, these fish farms. And it's just like sea bass. Like, Go back, you didn't see this. And it's just, they really, they got a, they got a stash from fucking like at the end of the world that they just don't want you to know about. And they're fucking, it's a lot of fucking sea bass. 35 years. Nobody fucking comes here. We're feeding the other pond with this. This is Chilean sea bass farm. This is amazing. We're taking it out right well, What do we do here? Whoa! This is go bingo! Jackpot! Somebody was like, somebody was like on a scope in a helicopter. That's a lot of fucking sea bass. It's like, rub it off. Okay, call Russia. This is a lot of sea bass. <laughs> what do you mean? Talk to me. What do you mean sea bass? What about Syria? No, you fuck Syria. I'm telling we you, hit, the amount of sea bass here is, hit. it makes Syria, we have to, Syria is the least of our, the amount of sea bass in this region, holy shit. There's a lot of money we can make we, sushi. We need to unite. Hold on, hold on. We can make a lot of money with sushi. Fuck Syria. We can make a lot of money with sushi. And we use it as a cover so those sneaky little flat earthers don't try to go across. You know what I mean? Capiche? 